Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, according to piping hot reports from the scene, the Duke and Duchess of Delusion recently decided to grace some highbrow Elet art exhibition with their exalted presence under the delusion that they're still relevant celebrities. A decision that quickly blew up in their already red and splotchy faces when it became clear the only art form they were there to put on display was narcissistic self-parody. Now, I know what you're all thinking. Another tone-deaf stunt from these two starving sideshow barnacles? How could we possibly still be shocked by their perpetual thirst for commanding the spotlight in spaces far too elevated for their tarnished reputations? It's like being stunned that cats meow or grass insists on remaining green, right? Well, prepare to grab a firm hold of your finest pearl necklaces, because even by Harry and McBig's historically subterranean standards of cringe chaos, their latest Ella exhibitionist stunt plumbed new depths of delirious, self-obliterating obnoxiousness. See, rather than just show up at this highbrow art gathering as shameless glory leeches like they've done countless times over the past few clout-chasing years, sources say this monumentally delusional pair somehow finagled themselves into hosting duties. That's right, not content to be mere tacky guests this time. Meghan and Harold decided the only way to fully satiate their barren vapidity was to usher themselves all the way to the center of attention, by any means necessary. And let me tell you, their arrogant insistence on wrestling away the spotlight so they could engage in their patented routine of deranged self-mythologizing left even hardened Hollywood veterans utterly gobsmacked at the on-display self-parody. According to stunned eyewitness accounts, our dastardly royal runaways spent the entire evening furiously trying to out one another in a never-ending struggle to remain the brightest supernova in the room. Whether it was Megan loudly chortling over some off-color joke, she no doubt stole from an old friend script, or Harry standing on a table like a drunken frat bro swapping wildly embellished war stories from his largely ceremonial military service, no bridge was left unchewed in their path of showboating destruction. The truly wild part being just how utterly indifferent to their own bad behavior these two fame snorters steamed while stinking up the entire evening. According to one aghast attendee, even though every cultured guest slowly shifted from uncomfortable cringing to outright disgusted contempt, Meghan and Harry remained blissfully oblivious in their headspace. Nope, to them, Hollywood's self-appointed king and queen were simply putting on a dazzling show that everyone in the entire room should feel blessed to bear witness to. True Dionysian delusions that would have Alexander the Great himself recoiling in second-hand embarrassment. Of course, since we're talking about the height of lofty Hollywood society here, it wasn't long before Meghan's scenery-chewing gave way to the establishment elite taking their dollhouse back by force. As the Duchess transitioned from theatrical grandstanding into earthier realms, like making off-color anatomical slights about other attendees' significant others, the claws quickly came out amongst the better-behaved delight. And let me tell you, nothing could encapsulate the sheer catastrophic level of this humiliation quite like the visual of security physically deterring Meghan from continuing her disruptive temper tantrum. To have the scandal-stained duchess, who fancies herself a reigning queen of the Hollywood bourgeoisie, be physically restrained from flashing her cochelan bits to all of Les cultural cognoscenti like some feral barefoot contessa, an ignominy of nuclear proportions. For Harry, the moment of having to beg his aggrieved partner to disengage from laying bare her delusions of grandeur before rolling cameras was even more damaging. This was the instant the mask completely slipped off the allegedly reformed prince, revealing him to be little more than a powerless yes-man to his true master's toxic whims. You could practically see what little remained of the poor sap's reputation circling the drain as he feebly simpered after Meghan's rampage, alternating between groveling for her to stop and muttering weakly defiant slogans, like a barely post-op Frankensteinian ghoul lurching and stumbling through the wreckage of his own self-worth, lost in disorienting pains of violence and victimhood. And for both of them, that's really where the shredded pieces ultimately fell. Any remaining benefit of the doubt that these two ever possessed even a solitary shred of self-awareness or humility was instantly vaporized. 
they were nothing more than the living embodiment of a bad HBO cringe dramedy come to life on the hallowed grounds of true societal sophistication. Caricatures of their own grotesquely self-inflated hubris made manifest, which, coming from a pair of disgraced side royals who've spent the past five years committing every conceivable truth chating offense against their remaining shreds of dignity, you'd think they'd have developed slightly thicker skin. That the universe bludgeoning them with perpetual bouts of well-earned humiliation and mockery would inoculate some self-awareness about their complete lack of social equity. But no. Instead, their derision sank them both even deeper into a delusionary spiral of hyperbolic victimhood. According to accounts, they've scarcely stopped reliving the perceived outrage against them since the incident, continually strafing thin air with furious truth clouds about how the Hollywood art circle has now officially shunned their nobility. Totally predictable behavior when exposed narcissists of their ilk get triggered back into their default self-preservation mindset, flinging ideations of woe and ostracization indiscriminately to ensure every embarrassing stumble back into cultural irrelevance is just more fuel for their twisted pasture complex. For Megan in particular, I imagine this latest ego bludgeoning will prove an especially tough beating to shake off. Her perpetual addiction to evidence corroborating her core fabulism about being society's most persecuted societal spokeswoman depends entirely on people continuing to show up to gawk at her stunts. How are we all expected to properly atone for our sins against her progressive enlightenment if her truth bowling can no longer even get a crowd going? My money's on the inevitable countermaneuver being something grotesquely over the top to recenter the conversation back onto their infinite martyrdom. Some new extreme tell-all memoir, where Megan recounts getting serially R-worded by the entire La Bray Tar Pits aristocracy, or Harry sharing traumatization about the time Gwyneth Paltrow made him drink her bathwater, or something equally unhinged. Desperation tends to yield increasingly extremist behavior. Either that, or perhaps they'll finally get the message this time. That much like their dilettant ancestors across the pond, their self-appointed reigns as Hollywood's progressive power couple du jour have simply overstayed their welcome, that there's only so many swings their daily pity party can attempt at commandeering the spotlight before even those vapid circles grow exhausted by the spectacle. Maybe the epic full-court dismissal from this art community will be the coldly received reality check they both so desperately needed that their truth warrior shtick has officially crossed over from compelling avant-garde statement into pitiable self-caricature sideshow. And if they possess even a molecule of self-preservation instincts, this scorching humiliation will inspire the first step on a long road toward reclaiming glimmers of humility and respect. Then again, Anyone still betting on these two to one day suddenly rediscover their moral compasses and find inner peace outside the limelight is likely better off spending their money on lottery scratchers. As everyone within a hundred mile radius of their howling vanity already knows, Meghan and Harry are beyond all realistic hopes of redemption. Doomed to remain fanatic adherents of their own gospel of self-obsessed perpetual petulance toward bitter restless oblivion. So, what do you guys think about this news guys? Sounds off in the comment and let me know what you think. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.